Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and we should be finishing up Dreamweavers today. Unfortunately, we are still on the emulator because I'm not willing to take the chance. I'll try to do Nasty Nork's world on the actual... My actual copy of the game, or rather downloaded copy from the PlayStation Store, whatever you want to call it. I'll try to do Nasty Nork's world still, however for now... We're just going to continue doing this, and we're doing the flight level because we've done all the regular levels already. We just have this and the boss, and that was the sound of me shifting in my chair. Because I must go into game position. I barely remember this one, to be honest. However, it's looking rather linear, somewhat. I mean, we just have a straight row of lanterns. I've only gotten five so far? Wow. Okay, going to... Wow, I almost skipped one. Good thing I went back for the treasure chest then. Just going to go around here, I think. Yeah, I recognize this whole treasure chest deal with them going in a circle. However, that's pretty much it. Also, way to miss that one. Now then, if we could actually hit this this time. Ah, lag. How dare you. Yeah, see, bad, bad. And I've yet to play up to the point where I was at in the actual game. My actual copy of the game. Or, no, well, both of them, actually. Because I still have yet to do those other two worlds. This will give me a ton of time. However, I don't have a whole lot of time. No, I must kill. Darn it. Starting over, I guess. But either way, there I go saying it for the first time. Hopefully for the last time, although probably not. Don't do that. Get up there. Start flying again. I have yet to play the two levels that I skipped in the Swamp World. And I also have yet to play the last two levels that I did in my own personal copy that isn't emulated. Uh, however you want to shorten that. Also, yeah, did, I just did that. That's how annoyed I was with that. So, so much lag. Wow. Luckily it doesn't, like, horribly desync. And my voice doesn't... Well, it just does It isn't that bad. Trust me, this is not nearly as bad as the emulator. Actually, this is the emulator. It's not nearly as bad as the actual copy, which is actually kind of surprising because, I mean, you'd expect the emulator to be worse than this. However, it is not. Also, those guys are kind of annoying to hit because they're kind of all over the place. Did I miss one? Because that's an uneven number. Uh, nope, looks like I didn't. Maybe there's five in the next section. Maybe they did that on purpose to bug you. And by Jove, it worked. So let's go ahead and destroy these barrels. What's by Jove? I mean, I know it's like a saying, but what precisely is Jove? Is it a person? Is it a place? Nobody knows. Well, pro somebody probably does who like study the English language and its phrases. Also, if I miss this guy, I'm going to- I miss this guy! Oh my god! God! That's the sound of my soul breaking. It was rather violent. Yay. So, now that I am now have two souls, well, parts of a soul rather than one, hey, I'm like Ventus. I can try this again. Also, don't... Uh, yeah, doing this a second time. Totally not wasting time doing that or anything. Also, where's the last treasure chest? Here we go. This one again. Oh, missed one. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well then, where did it go? Oh, saw it. Corner. Oh, and I land in the water, of course. So there goes four minutes already. I was hoping that this wouldn't be 24 minutes like the last video, however, that is looking to not be the case. Also, yes, I did see the treasure chest I'm turning back around now. Now, not missing you this time, although I will run into the uh, lighthouse when doing so, which I don't understand. Sometimes Spyro, I almost said crash. Uh, sometimes Spyro crashes, and crash Spyro's apparently. Rather, he spirals when he does his spin move. Ha, I figured it out. Take that, interwebs, and with that I crash into the water again. But yeah, sometimes Spyro just crashes into the wall to the side. And I mean, you think a hit like that would, like, stop them and hurt their wing or something. But no, Spyro is fine. Also, I totally missed a treasure chest. Sharp turning! Oh, no, god! Almost fell again, again, again. 
Luckily, we only have the boss, and the homeworld in Gnasty Gnork's world isn't that large in the slightest. You will see what I mean very soon. In fact, we can't even get everything in there yet. It is impossible. Like, literally impossible. You need to complete the levels in order to get more stuff in that level. Also, now that we have all those, we're going to move on, try to get that last lighthouse, and go back onto the trains and whatnot. And I won't... You know, if I just believed that there are only three guys in that section, I would have been fine and I wouldn't probably wouldn't have lost. But whatever, it's too late now. So let's just... Now that I, I at least know that there are three of these guys, we can do this right. Let's grab those two. Do you supercharge? Nope. That's in the later games that you actually supercharge when you go on land. Which is honestly pretty interesting and pretty... It was very helpful when doing a super fast route sometimes. Also, I am almost out of time. This is not a super fast route. Well, it's the most linear and it works, so don't miss the guy. What? I thought that was the last one and it would have stopped. Oh, Wasting so much time. And the boss level is actually pretty large, and it's not as linear. I know I said that the last one was linear, however I was actually thinking of this boss world. So there's that, and my reasoning behind that, which is I forgot which was which basically. I don't even remember what the boss of this world looks like. I mean I know his name is Jock, and that's pretty much it. Also if I could stop flying and maybe- good, there we go. Now then, after that strange, unfortunate series of events is over, we can move on. To be honest, I never really read that series. I read like the first three, and I was just like, eh, this is only really like mediocre. I never really understood why everybody in my school really liked it. I'm, I read Harry Potter and Aragon and stuff, and I never even finished the second book in Aragon because I rented it from the library, or whatever, I checked it out from the library, or whatever you would call that. And I got like halfway through it, and then the two weeks that I had were up. Granted, I was in like... When did that book come out? I don't even know. I was in like... Intermediate school? And plus I was kind of busy, and oh my god, it is so hot in here, and I've yet to turn on the fan. What is wrong with me? Okay, you know what? While it's on the loading screen, I'm going to go and turn on my fan. So unprofessional! Okay, there we go. I actually had to turn on the light switch in order to turn on my fan. So let's go figure out what Jacques actually is. And you know, I could probably just glide down here. Yep, here's Jacques. So I know what his level looks like. However, I do not know what he actually looks like. I don't even know what he's like based off of. Like, is he a Nork? Is he a gigantic sheep? I do not know. Oh, hello you. They are wearing metal, and these guys are large. That's your basic enemies. And we have these timing guys with the platforms. There are a ton of them. So you want to be ready. So already, our path is splitting into two, and I almost fell into lava. And then I got smacked by these guys. If I remember correctly, these guys actually have a strange name. Also, it looks as though you can break that, however, that is untrue. But, yeah, these, I remember these guys having a strange name. It had something to do with their flower. Because they are indeed holding a flower. Also, yay for 10. I believe there are 400? 500 gems! So this is basically the size of a regular level, plus the boss. Oh, was it... Is Jacques the wizard? But I already... Oh, I remember what he is now. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I like this boss. Which is why I forgot him, of course. I don't even know if this is the right way. Oh, you know, nope. That's the right way for the treasure. I'm going the right way to get to the boss. So at some point, I will turn a... Bleh. After... Yeah, you know, I'll just turn around now. Let's go get the treasure and the key, because that's over there as well, I believe. Why do I always do that? I just assume that, well, right would be the right way. However, would that be the right way for treasure, or the right way for the boss? Apparently this time it was the boss. Either way, how do I get that platform down? 
Well, we have some treasure over here at least. 105. Out of our really high amount of... Oh, I see. 500. Also, I totally missed that jump. Yay! Everything is back alive now. All of my hard work, gone. God, what were those things called? I don't even remember. Also, if I could get up there. Okay, there we go, we're back up to where I was, except everything is alive again. Which is just fantastic. A for the game lagging so much that you jump way too early, but would have probably been timed right, provided you were going at normal speed. Either way, we want to burn both of these guys. If I could find the other one, that is. Um, burn, hurry up, get to the very top, nope, land, oh my god, this is lagging almost as much as the, as the actual game would on my capture card, wow, that's sad, also I missed it anyways, that is great, oh, also we become like a piece of fire, or is that sparks, cause, he has, like, little orange flames coming off- well, by flames I mean little dots coming off of him. I mean, he is a dragonfly, wouldn't you be expecting him to be a fly that spits flames? Also, seriously, how do I get over there? That's going to bother me. Do I have to beat the boss first? I don't remember having to do that. Oh, hi, hi there. I should probably go into that little cave area first. Also, it's been 12 minutes, almost- and screensaver! Fantastic. There we go. Oh, hi there. I hit you. Well, by now the time's probably going to run out. Oh yeah, it did. I hate this. Stupid screensaver. At least that wouldn't show up in the actual game. And by screensaver, I again mean the black screen. I don't have an actual screensaver. One, because I don't really care, and two, why? I wouldn't really have anything to put for it. Either way, oh uh, darn it. Now then, if I could burn these two guys again, maybe I could make this? Whatever, I won't lose the key at least. There we go! I did it! I did it! I did it! Hooray! Some Spanish words. God, I'm taking Spanish year three now, and yet I don't know the words that they even say in that song. It's like Mamencino or something like that. Also, yay, we're back at the beginning. Well, not the beginning. So we could have gone either way to get to the boss. However, there is still that other bit that I skipped because I don't know how to bring that platform down. I am blanking at the moment. So let's just move on and see what happens. But at least we got the key. Also, do not miss these. They're all a bunch of ones, but they still contribute to the 100%. So, get the gem, Spyro. Grab it. Sparks, why are you not doing your job? Why you no do job? Revilo. Also, this is the very first dragon of the episode. And a very nice number. However, by now we would have had uh, that number for a while. Also, yes, our boss is a... For whatever reason, I was thinking it's a jack in the box, but actually it's just a guy on a spring. And what you basically do is chase him all the way over. Burn him. Then he'll move, continue chasing- what is this guy even? I don't know. And then this thing went up, so I'm guessing that this guy does, in fact, move the other piece of land. So let's go ahead- oh, he jumped all the way over there. Great. Let's hit him again. De oh, of course he hits me. And he drops a hundred gems. So technically, this world only has four hundred gems. However, oh, and then there are three more right up here. That is a lot of purple gems. They made this easy. So there goes 175 gems in like five seconds. And now we only need 68 more, whereas before we needed like 230-ish more. That's awesome. Also, if you can hear the little squeaking, my fan sucks. Um, that's basically your explanation. So seriously though, guys, like help me out here. How do I get over to that one section that I want to get to with the second dragon of the level. Is this the only boss level with two dragons in it? I think so. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, yes. So guys, how do I get up there? Um, I will get back to you on that. Never. Or hopefully soon. Let's see here. Does this guy also control that one? Let's try it. 
dude. There you go. No, apparently not. Can I just get up? Nope. Then what is it? Is there another guy that I need to burn? I think there might be. Oh, that squeaking is going to get on my nerves. So much. Yeah, I think this guy. Okay, here's what I have to do. Now I remember. Get over here, dude. You. Okay, I have to go over there, burn that guy. Hurry up, burn this guy. Get on this platform. And as you can see, the guy over there was actually controlling this platform. So now we're good. Uh, provided I don't miss. However, since this is a checkpoint, as soon as I get over here, I should be good. There will be no more confusing things. Unica. That's not a very unique dragon, because he would have just said, Thank you for releasing me. So he's not unique in the slightest, and therefore should be renamed. I suggest Humphrey. Is there a dragon named Humphrey? That would actually be pretty funny. However, probably not. Just because they wouldn't do anything that was that I would find amusing. So let's go ahead and do this little section, because we get to burninate a whole bunch of these flower guys. They look like giant tree stumps, sort of. Um... Oh dear god, that squeaking. I sure hope you guys can't hear it. Because I'm hating it right now. Also, would that kill me or would that only hurt me? And by that, I mean the lava right under me. And we only have one more of these guys. So let's go ahead, burn him. There we go, and get the gem. See, that gem even homes in on me. So why couldn't I grab the red gem earlier? Oh, that's the thing that came out. Yay, for... Sideways, almost missing that, wow. At least we don't have to worry about the key, because we already grabbed that. I remember often missing said key, and I almost missed those two gems, and that would have been suck. Now hopefully there's 18 gems worth, right? Nope, there is only 15. Of course, so I'm missing three gems somewhere, and it's probably three reds, and watch them be on that staircase, even though I was so careful when trying to get all the gems. Oh, that would just be something that would happen. Did I kill all these guys? I don't... Was there something but? Wow. 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 Also, I was missing four gems. Wow. Wow. At the very beginning, I was missing something. And I'm sure that you were all yelling at me that entire time. And since there isn't really a save point anywhere near here, I guess I could quickly do what I can of Nasty Norks level. Uh, seriously, it'll, it'll only take like a second, and by a second I mean like a minute. But still. So we're going into Nasty's world, or Ganasty's world. I never really decided which way I would pronounce it, however I've been pronouncing it Nasty. But then why not just... Either way, ah one last time of course. The rats are what give you health in this level. As you can see, we have some treasure. So let's go ahead, grab the treasure- Bleh, excuse me, little burp there. Let's just go ahead, grab the treasure. We should be able to grab, I think, 20, no, 50? I think we should be able to grab 50 at this point. Maybe a bit more, yeah, a bit more. But 60, 70, 75, okay. As you can see, there are all these dragons, and we basically have to complete each world in a row. So we go Nork Cove, then this one, then this one, and then this one. It basically forces you to do all these levels in a row. And if you want to go back to a different level, you can just go talk to this guy. Uh, what's his name? Hack. Great, he hacks things. I never actually talked to him. And we have this dragon right here in the middle, and this should be... No, it isn't our last dragon, because there are dragons in the actual world. But we have 71 dragons now. Technically, we should have like 75, I think. So there we go. Either way, I will see you in the next part where I should have the correct totals and whether I'm doing on the emulator or the actual my actual copy of the game, I do not know yet. We shall figure out next time. Bye.